Welcome back to Kenshi. My name is Tobel. Our main group of explorers is just northeast of Mongol right now. We're about to move our way into the, I believe it's the Screaming Forest. And we're going to avoid the swamp lands over here. Although I do seem to recall that there is possibly a ruin in this general direction. But for the moment, we're going to keep on going northwest away from the swamp area. Now, we're hitting the point where we might start getting too much loot for our inventory, so I think we might have to possibly swing around to World's End if we get overwhelmed, or we'll just drop a couple things off. For the moment, we're okay, and I believe most of these can stack upwards of nine items. I, some stacks only stack to five or six uh, or four, so we'll have to see what comes up and where. But for the moment, we seem to be okay. We can always reorganize the loot a little bit later on as well. Is anyone overweight right now? Not really. Uh, Lydia is the closest one to hitting her limit. Uh, so we'll have to reorganize her pack down the road and uh, keep an eye on that. Otherwise, though, I think we're doing just fine. We aren't expecting any raids, at least for a couple more days. Hightower is getting the crap beat out of him. Poor Hightower. Where's, uh, didn't we have Hobbs over here somewhere? I wanted to see Hobbs in action a little bit more. I'm curious about what types of attacks he knows now and how his damage is. Although I think people are going down so quickly that we're not even seeing a, a chance for him to attack much. Let's see about this one right behind. Oh, blood everywhere. <laughs> so brutal. Oh, you know what? And because I reloaded the game, I do have to reset everyone onto the new jobs. Well, what have we been working on? We've been working on toughness and dodge. So let's switch it up. Let's go with dodge for the second of uh, the first half of our main squad. And we'll do toughness for the rest of this episode. Sounds good. Uh, Shrike, what are you? Did I give you an order or did I not? I think someone's missing an order. Nope, Shrike got that. Okay, so for some reason lately I've been missing wing. <laughs> Whenever I'm selecting all of our characters here. There we go. Alright, so everyone's at their proper uh, training compound area. Uh, Thendu, you're finally setting up Beep's little hidey hole. Let's bring the new Beep, Boop. Beep Jr. over here. Uh, do we want to make Beep Jr. or Boop work on anything else other than strength for a bit? He's already at 25, so he has a, a decent weight limit. We could have him work on attack and defense. Maybe we'll do that for this episode. We'll just have him grind out some attacking skill. That's fine. I'll take that permanent order off him and give him the attack training job. Otherwise, I believe we're doing really good. Oh, you know what? I had Jackson come get some of the training materials earlier. So let's drop those off. Thank you ever so kindly. We'll uh, drop all the books off. That should be good for the moment. We still have a little bit of organizing to do down the road, but we'll we'll get there when we get there. No worries about that yet. I think you were right about here. So we dropped some more books off, so we do have some more technologies we could research. Obviously, we're the storage shed mod. I'm still trying to see if I like it or not. We really haven't messed with it, so I figured I'd add everything into it last episode and get that going. Now, Harpooner is going to require more science books and I think I would love to go down the route of the double barrel harpoon turrets which leads to I believe like automatic it's it's absolutely devastating uh, some of the higher level harpoons yeah the rest of these are starting to need advanced uh, ancient science books for the most part we're, we're kind of locked in now where we are so let's get back over to our valiant explorers have them head into what I think is the Screaming Forest, but I could be completely wrong. We'll probably hit a biome change here. 
I think Floodlands is over this way with the floating critters here. <laughs> uh, here's the Shrieking Bandits we're just running right in the middle of, which is amusing. They decided that they didn't want to fight us right now. That's that's completely fine, and uh, whatever they want, I'm happy with that. Everyone's a little hungry. Let's see if we can get a little bit of food spread around. Uh, unhold, maybe? I guess we don't need to eat yet. Uh, someone does have some food. Did I change an AI setting a while ago? Ditch items. I changed ditch items. We'll add that back. That looks to be the only thing I've changed in the recent time. All right. Onward and upward, folks. We're going to try to get to the ruins to the northeast today. To our uh, northwest, sorry. Of course, uh, of course, the goal right now is it's almost like we don't really need as much money anymore. We're getting to the point where I think we're we're fairly well in uh, endowed in terms of credits and uh, our cats rather. So we're not gonna have too many problems there. If you've never been here, the Shrieking Forest has some really really tall trees. It looks really nice. The I don't know what the ground is like. Let's look at a quick prospecting result. Uh, it is green, so it's 100% green. It looks like it does have an area of dense water. That might just be down in this uh, other zone, though. Although it has no fertility in this area, so probably not the best place to go set your area up. It's like a spaceship? What is this? It's supposed to be a face? Very, very loud. I'm hoping you're not going deaf right now. Uh, the next couple of episodes, I'm going to be experimenting with some post-production sound increases, so let me know what you think. Oh, we do have beak things in this area. Uh, that's a change of direction, please, because I don't want to deal with beak things right at this moment. The ruin we're trying to go to is right in front of us, I think. This looks like a ruin that you see in that crystalline, crystalline area in the grid. Is uh, Wait, some of these had guards, I thought. Does this one have a guard? Let's not run up here and get ourselves killed. No, I don't think so. Let's bring everybody up. And now that we're upstairs, beep, go for it. Now, was this, uh, no, this is just like the hu the husk of something else. I forget sometimes that, uh, you know, we don't exactly have a moon that has a smaller moon fairly close to us. So definitely not on Earth. Maybe we're on Tatooine. Maybe this is the earlier or ancient Tatooine instead. A lot of dust here. Maybe we can find the Owens. All right, we've got a average style katana here. A good bunch of engineering research though. Uh, we'll grab a couple of these items and move on to the next chest. Nothing doing. I don't expect too much of these places out in the middle of nowhere. Normally, the best gear tends to be in those ancient science labs that we came across before. Uh, the tech labs, right? I believe that's what it was, that we got the greatest and bestest of loots. Have yeah, Beep cross over and take care of the other two sides, or the uh, other two lockboxes here. Hey, another ranger masterwork crossbow. Nice. Well, that'll be useful for one of our immediate, uh, or our rangers to use immediately. So we'll trade that over to them as soon as Beep gets across the, uh, back across here. That's a good find. I think that's worth it in its own right, honestly. Uh, let's give this over to Jade. Jade has been through quite a bit, uh, here and there. So we'll give her the ranger crossbow. Uh, now though, we're gonna have to... Probably spread some of the love around with the with the uh, the bolts. Lydia still has the old crappy bolts, so we'll have to give her some of those. Okay, let's trade Alice the rest of the junk that Beep has here. I'm gonna drop the junk bow to be honest. I don't think we need that right now. All right, good enough. Let's get going back to the uh, northeast north post ancient workshop. Interesting. So there's, what, post-ancient versus ancient? 
ancient tech lab. What was the... What were these called? Workshop complex. That was a bunch of them in the same general area. I'm going to do a couple quick saves throughout this game because uh, we've been having so many cr uh, crashing issues lately. It has not been a pleasant experience. And I apologize, I'm not doing a whole lot of, uh, vo of, of uh, commentary right now. I just want to make sure I'm focusing pretty hardcore on what we're about to run into. I don't remember a lot of this area. So it's a bit a bit spoopy. Um, nothing that I'm worried too much. The, you know, Of course, the only thing that can really, really run us down these days are the... Uh, they are the big things and we are going to get to a place that has more big things coming up very quickly. In fact, the uh, The next zone over Or the one that we just crossed into will be big thing territory now. This is one of the areas that I really enjoy setting up an end game uh, I wonder if we can see it over here. There's a nice little flat plateau here between these two mountains and I really enjoy this area in general for setting up uh, especially late game you, ooh, that was a little close. You do have to be careful, of course, because you have both, ah, goodness. We have iron machines, iron spiders, as well as beak things in this general vicinity. Let's stop real quick and uh, heal up because everyone just took a big shot because they ran through the middle. It's my fault. I was not micromanaging like I should have. I am a bad overseer. Okay, it was mostly Laura who took the brunt of that shot. So, what I want to try to get to right now is a small little island over here on the edge of the world. I want to be careful that I don't pull ooh, too many spiders with me because I think the problem is that they can swim. They can move faster than you can swim, basically. So, yeah, we're, we're still being followed. I don't know if I want to do this or not. Let's test it out by sending beep into the water. We'll have everyone else run. I guess we could try it all anyways. I think we've got the distance right now to out swim them. Now there are some in the water here too. I can't click on them though. And no one else is following me out here, which is fine. Can I click on these guys? Yeah, let's... How about we... Ugh, let's go out this way. My theory is that if you can click on them normally, you're able. There, there's something that's responsive, and they're they're gonna be aggro on you. Some of them do have, yeah. So like this one is an actual spider. These two are. This one seems to be a prop. So it's it's quite a it's quite a fun little challenge to find out what the hell's gonna try to kill you, and what is not. So I'm trying to make my way to this ruin over here on this island. Okay, so we have more spiders on that side. Why don't we go into sneak mode? get up on this ground and then we'll try to scoot our way across this island. I, again, I don't want to bring too many of these with me to the next little stretch of island. We might get spotted anyway because our stealth is not that great in terms of our archers. Uh, any of these guys awake? I don't think so. Let me select Laura. Click here. No, no, no. None of them are awake as far as I can tell. So very creepy, by the way. Uh, this one is, though. There's a couple over on the right side. I don't see any over here, so maybe we'll make our approach on this left side of the hill. It's pretty high stress. <laughs> a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. This, I mean, this could easily go south for us very, very quickly. This makes me want to revisit the idea of trying to have someone go buy some, or steal, some... You know what? And on that on that note... Uh, let's see if we... Did we get this damn stealth thing done yet? And I, I think I said I, we didn't need stealth. But we weren't expecting a new recruit. So let's actually build a stealth training turret. And that way we can have Boop work on that down the road. Right now Boop is working on his attack and defense and stuff like that, but uh, 
None of the other items are ready to go yet, as far as I can tell. Yeah, they all need a little bit more... Oh, we need some hinges? Interesting. Hinge. What? We need raw meat? Fascinating. I mean, I, I kind of get it. Uh, tools and a cup? Well, that's awkward. I guess the stealth training one will be able to get uh, constructed first. We can make a hinge. I guess I could just order well, one hinge, please. I think that's on the crossbow bolt. Yeah. So just, just one hinge. By the way, Kai, how are you doing on your construction project? Uh, you've made about half of the plate jacket order, so that's fine. Is anyone else not doing anything that we could uh, help out with the plate smashing? Not really. We did upgrade our automatic grain silo, by the way, so that is ready to go. And most of our wheat straw is, in fact, still going to grog production. How about Dietrich? Why don't you chill out on grog for a bit? I want you to not... I don't want to use all of the wheat straw just yet. I want to get a good stockpile going, and then I want to see if we can start producing both um, bread and everything else. Do we need someone to actually take this to the food bin? So actually we have to take to the, the bread basket. Now, do people eat bread over... I guess what I'm curious about is, will they come eat bread over eating... Um, bread in the bread basket over eating food in the food tray or what have you. Interesting. Alright, we'll come back to this here in just a bit. Alright, back to the archers. Alright, uh, we are getting closer. One active, two, three active over here. Let's try to hug this hill. All these are active. We're probably going to we're probably going to pull aggro here in just a second. As soon as our stealth fails, I'm just going to have everyone sprint to the area that I want to go to, which is now. Let's go. And hopefully we should lose the aggro, because there's actually a pretty tall, flat plateau over here. And because we do out, uh, outrun them all very quickly, I'm hoping we can get over here in a decent speed and uh, by ourselves. Okay. So, uh... You are inert, which is nice. First of all, is anyone following us? I don't think so. Second, do we have any patrols in the area? I don't think they actively patrol anything. Alright, so we're over here at this little island, and we're at apparently just a ruin. It doesn't tell us that it's an X, Y, or Z ruin. Let's have everyone come up onto the uh, ramp. We'll make sure Beep is completely empty. I think I'm going to drop that sword, honestly. Can we, um, can we possibly do some consolidation here? All right, so why don't you take, I'm going to, I'm only going to keep nine skeleton repair kits. I mean, I just, I don't want to get too much of, of every single thing. Um, that's fine. Who else can we trade with here? You have most of the CPU units. Some of these. We'll give you these and these right here. Okay. Beep is empty. You're carrying food and CPU units. You've got some power cores, robotic components. Okay. I think that's all, all right. Does someone else have tools at all? It's fine. I don't think we need to worry about it quite that much. All right, Beep. Let's uh, show them what you're worth, buddy. Ancient Tech Lab. I'm hoping this is just as lucrative as our previous endeavor to the far southwest. Uh, so right off the bat, what do we see? We've got security spiders. Now, security spiders, I believe are a much higher quality than the iron spiders. And they have the uh, distinct ability to drop you some delicious AI cores, I hope. I think, possibly. I don't quite remember. Uh, I almost want to say that's the, that is the case. All right, we're doing the same method we did before. Uh, apparently the robot sensors are like, mm, not even sure what's going on. Oh, wait a minute, we're still yellow. Phew. Okay. All right, we're in where we need to be. And uh, back at it. Let's speed life up a little bit. Hey, 
Hey, the martial arts training finished up at home. Uh, real quick, I want Hobbs to keep working on the martial arts. In fact, you know what? Hobbs is super massive weak right now. Let's have Hobbs work on strength training for a bit. Uh, which, that was attack and defense, was it not? Were these dex and strength? Let's have Hobbs uh, work on his strength for a while. I'm fairly sure that the martial arts damage does come from your strength. I have to check the wiki to see what other factors are important when you're talking about training everything like that. Uh, we did get a bunch more of the training dummies up, nor up, up top done, so I guess we could have Hobbs come work on his crossbow skill or his um, turret skill. What are you guys at? 58 and 60. Uh, Stone and Kuros are at 53 and 63. It's pretty impressive. Let's get Sez and... Sorry, I'm actually like... Camera's having some trouble. Are these precision? Yeah, these are aiming. Let's have Sez and Wyatt work on the other type of training for, for accuracy, basically. Cool. So that, that'll be getting their precision aim up. So they're not shooting our allies in uh, combat. Is there anyone else that is not doing anything whatsoever? I think everyone has a job. Oh, that's right. Our three... I've forgotten about our three... Sheck. They're up to 53 strength now. Nice. Um, I mean, we just want to have them smacking the crap out of people, right? What does dexterity actually do, by the way? Attack speed. Oh, it is your attack speed in blocks. Okay, so that's actually really important, too. Why don't we have them move on to dex for a bit? They've been working on the strength training bench for quite a while. So we'll have them come over here and all three of them. Can you guys drop? I'll tell you what, which one is dex first off? These three are. So one, drop the weight bench, two, and three. Okay, we'll have all three of these folks come down or come over, work on their decks for a bit, then I'm going to start having them work on their strength training. Now, I don't think there's any way to train up a weapon other than using said weapon. So I'm talking about getting better at the hacker class uh, or something like that. Do we want to drop a couple more harpoon turrets? We did repair this wall section over here a while ago, and that is missing a harpoon. Uh, this is a harpoon turret with a light on it. Which might be kind of cool. Uh, what does it do? It does 90 and 90 with a light. I'm going to do this one. 90 with a light. I just gave Hobbs the wrong movement order. That That's no big deal. I think that's our main squad. Everyone else is doing something. And Mo Boop is working on his uh, attack training. Maybe I'll have him work on Dex too. Make, we'll make him like just a super fast attacker. Alright, back to Beep. Who's just picking away here. Alright, we've got one coming up on patrol. He shouldn't see us, although there is kind of a crack in the corner. Uh, we did get a AI core, two books. I will grab the CPU unit. I'm going to leave some of the other items behind. Uh, robotics components aren't bad. We'll grab what we can and we'll see how heavy everything feels to beep in a bit. What's your stealth at? I want to make sure that's always up. Uh, you're at 100 still because you're not over-encumbered. Alright, we are going to drop a couple more of these off because I want to get the biggest items out first. So that, that being the AI core and the books for the most part. Uh, we'll also bring along any CPUs that we find. I have to check every tiny little inch and square of this building because, you know... These little, yeah, see, the little boxes actually can have books in them is just as well as the actual big chests and stuff like that. So uh, you want to make sure you're grabbing every little piece you can. Let's check the metacrates. Metakits, metacrates. Uh, we are in range of being spotted, so we got to be a little bit careful here. Let's pull him back around the corner. Can you lockpick from there? You can. Because you have outstanding, stretchy, long arms. More AI cores. Are you over encumbered yet? Not really, no. Nothing doing here. Uh, do we want to be. 
Can he lockpick right next to this guy? I think if we move behind this one, we'll be out of... <laughs> We're out of range of the one that crossed the hallway, and the one right next to us does not see us. God, that's nerve-wracking. Fifty-eight attack, fifty-eight damage, no big deal, right? Cool, another core. Uh, more books. I don't know, I think we can get the rest of these out, and this might be it for this first trip upstairs. So, let's get ourselves a nice running start, and we're gonna send Beep back down to go with the rest of the squad. So, here's the hoping. I think his stealth is still maxed out because he is, in fact, uh, still considered to be weightless. He is not over-encumbered at all. Oh my gosh, Beep. I'm, I'm in love with Beep. I honestly am, you guys. I can, I can only fanboy so much. can only fanboy so much. Um, let's have someone else start the trade with Beep. Uh, we'll drop off the CPU cores with you. We'll drop the power cores with you. Uh, you're going to be you the holder of books. Uh, for the moment, you are. And we'll have Laura carry these big honking AI cores. So, how's everyone's weight? 46, 20, 35. Not too bad. All right, Beep. Uh, round two. Let's go. Back at it. Back upstairs, please, you go. We have to clean this place out. No one else is going to use it. Just a bunch of robots with, with poor programming. They're programmed in uh, Visual Basic, and they haven't ever been able to evolve. Yeah, nothing else. I'm going to skip. I mean, I'm going to leave some things. Again, we do have to make it back to civilization to sell everything. And I don't want to be over so overloaded that we have to lose uh, really good like AI cores and whatnot. Uh, we still plan to hit a couple more stops along the way. Now, can I get to these two? That's being a bit greedy, isn't it? Uh, I want to get to these two that are right in front of the spider. So I'm going <laughs> to... Hey, totally worth it. We're going to grab that. Run out of here. Uh-oh. Uh, how did you all get aggro? I have no idea what Lydia and them are pulling right now. Beep got attacked. Oh, Beep is getting attacked. What happened? Did he get stuck? Go, 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 Beep, no. Run, 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 run. Okay, let's pull everyone out. I think our archers somehow screwed the pooch on that. I'm not entirely sure, unless Beep is so... No, he shouldn't be weighted down at this point. I think he can make it out, though. He's still pretty quick. Uh, so let's have everyone run away. The only real danger is this... Um, broken skeleton and honestly i'm gonna have our archers post up here uh beep is gonna run towards them and if this spider dude chases us all the way we'll see if we can wreck him a little bit and maybe get a couple parts from him well, apparently we're not gonna get any good shots in it whatsoever nice i love stunning shots uh always useful Should have staggered our shooting. Okay, let's get away from this guy for a second. Uh, we're gonna stagger our archers out just a bit. Is uh, we don't have any other spiders following. It's just this guy who's following us. Nope, they are. They are when they re-engaged. Yeah. I'm not again. I'm not too worried about him. Did he go down or is he healing himself? Nice. Uh, we'll run up real quick and, and loot him. Uh, he only had a repair kit and a fragment axe. Well, you know what? If we're having fun with this. Beep's on passive back here. Uh, the archer squad is fairly well spread out. Can we maybe tag this this one particular guy? <laughs> He's like running away. Stop running from us! Which one did we hit the most of? Yeah, we got him pretty good to be honest with you. That's not uh, not bad at all. I'm probably playing with some kind of fire by, you know, tormenting the, uh, the poor little rivets. Alright, one went down under our hail of arrows. Where's the other one that's already kind of injured? 
Uh, this one? They all have a couple shots at this point on them. I mean, I think we could actually... God, we're kind of beast right now. Holy crap. Our archer squad is hella impressive, you guys. That's a lot of fast attacks. We've got two rivets down. take off the hold command. Uh, Lydia might be out of... Nope, she's not out of ammo yet. She's gonna... Someone's gonna be out of ammo pretty soon, though. Uh, another ribbit down. Yeah, I guess... I guess they're hitting this kite... This maximum chase range. And then they're falling back. You're not really wounded. We have to be a little bit cautious of you. Although I think... Yeah, you're hitting this one particular limit. I don't feel too guilty about exploiting that. Mostly because... They can't run us down anyways. They're not they're not gonna be able to run our squad down. We're too uh we're we're far too beefy. We are just running out of uh arrows though. Nothing but a little friendly fire among friends here. Uh another robot down. Did we get all the damn robots? Holy shit. <laughs> Alright then. So, oh, they didn't really drop anything but skeleton muscle. I was hoping for an AI core. Is it too much to ask for? Oh, maybe they don't have them. Well, what did I think has an AI core? Darn. Well, still, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to practice. I could grab these skeleton muscles. They're, um, I guess we'll grab a couple of them. There were still some I left upstairs as well. But, um... Yeah, there were something. I mean, we may not get much more. It just it kind of depends on what we find down the road. But we don't want to be so overloaded that we can't move is, is another thing, too. So we've got this ancient tech lab finished up. I happen to know that in this zone, there are quite a few other areas. In fact, we've mapped them out by unlocking and researching maps. Uh, the problem is going to be that we more than likely are going to run out of storage space. But we'll, uh, we'll deal with that when we get to it. Are we doing okay damage-wise? Uh, Beep took a shot to the head, running out of there. Thankfully, he did not go down. That would have been an awkward situation, because I don't know how we would have rescued him in any sort of time. I guess we would have tried to pull everyone out and have someone go in to, uh, to grab him. Let's cross over the hill. Oop, let's not say we did sneak. Maybe we can get a little bit of sneak skill while we're uh, right before they find us. Uh, not a big fight. Looks like the dogs are taking care of stuff back at base. Couple critters here on the water's edge. We're probably going to have to sprint through, to be honest with you. Oh, actually, this is not... Okay, there's not aggro over here. All right, onward and upward. That's some good gear. Um... We've got, uh, I think we, what did we get? Four AI cores out of this run? This is gonna help us, this is really gonna help us start hitting the, the last tier for what we need in our game. I mean, we, we may have to start looking at what is our end game going to look like? Are we going to, uh, move one final time and build, like, the base to end all bases? Are we going to try to, you know, do some massive amounts of recruiting and get, like, 50 to 60 to 80 squads, uh, 80 squads, I don't know, like, people, like, how many people we have in our, in our inventory, or, our, uh, under our command, or are we just gonna try to unlock, I know we talked about it before, you know, we want to unlock the entire tech tree, that's, that's part of it, which I think is completely valid. I don't know if we need to really move for any particular reason other than maybe to set up in a more challenging area. Uh, so maybe somewhere like over here or the southeast area that I mentioned that I, I really like for my endgame uh, attempts. Are any of you alive? I don't think so. Let's sprint through this batch. And I want to get a little bit deeper in over here. All right. Let's uh, do a quick save here. We got a lot of goodies to look into. Let's head up to 
No, there's a couple. There's actually that outpost there, but I think there's also something at the top of this mountain, if I remember correctly. It's a hell of a hell of a climb. God, my my uh let's see. There we go. My camera wasn't letting me zoom out anymore. What's on top of old Smokey here? There is a ruined outpost. I think there's yeah, there's ruined outposts on either side of the the valley. One here, one way over there somewhere. Uh we've got Garu here, which will be nice in case we have to kite anything over to them. I could have sworn there were some big things. Oh, did Garu get mad? Huh, if you stand still, they leave you alone. That's actually cool, I didn't know that at all. Uh, Alright, so we're over at this little ruined outpost. They do have a couple books. So we'll grab uh, books. And... A skeleton eye. I don't think I've seen that before. Huh. It's funny. I don't think I've ever seen a skeleton eye. Okay. Uh, let's go down to the next ruin. The other outpost down in the valley here. We'll focus on this. I think that the rest of this episode will be spent on the next couple of ruins. And I believe there's another tech outpost somewhere close by, and we'll probably wrap right before that. Okay, here's some big things in the area. So, where do we need to go? Straight ahead over to that direction. All right, let's see if we can maybe avoid most of the big things. We can run in here if we need to. This is where the rest of the main squad would come in handy. It would be nice to have a little bit of reinforcement here. Did I just see a security spider in that building? Upstairs? I think I did. So, some books here. Uh, I don't see anything like an AI core. Yeah, a couple things here and there. I bet inside of this will be more spitters. Let's give everyone the sneak order. We'll have Beep come take a look. Yeah, the door, if the armory is unlocked... Normally indicates bad news. Certainly is bad news. Um, although it's pitch black. Can they not see him whatsoever? Holy crap, dude. Let's get in here. Tuck into this corner. There's one in here with us, but I don't think he can even see us whatsoever right now. We'll grab this guardless katana. Oh, that's annoying. Are you serious right now? Are they blocking the damn pathway out? Um, Let's bring our archers in closer. What in the hell? Seriously? Well, beep is super fucked. All right, let's let's do this. We're going to we're going to try to pull these out of here. Beep needs to be on passive hold, which he is. Uh, let's see if we can't shoot a few and pull them out of this gap. This is ridiculous. Go, Jade, go. Okay, go, 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 go. She still got smacked, or she got shot, either way. Uh, we only pulled a couple. Super, super awkward that they, uh... Alright, let's try to bring them over to... The, the Guru. Uh... Lucky on that one. I, I'm still trying to watch Beep in the corner of my eye. I don't see him getting the aggro pulled on him yet. Maybe they can break off and attack the Guru, which they did. At least one of them did. Uh, it's going to be daylight fairly soon, though, so I think Beep needs to get out of here. I don't think he can move, though. Let's try to have more aggro get pulled here. Let's do... They're after Lydia. Let's have Lydia run up this way. I'm trying to keep everybody in view right now. Okay, they're after Laura. Let's have Laura split off. And then let's have Alice try to... Pull the group down there. We're gonna have to have her run in and like literally shoot at this thing. Okay, they all pulled on her. Alright, Beep is getting spotted. We're gonna have to have him run out of this area maybe to behind the other ones. Okay, good enough for now. Let's pull everyone and their mother out to the coastline. I think Beep can get out from behind these guys. And he can. Okay. 
It's a little uncomfortable. Oh, hey, that's right. Leviathans are in this area. If you guys have not seen Leviathans yet, they're giant honking, I don't know, sea turtle dudes. These are the, uh, what you can actually hunt that gives you some decent weaponry or decent, uh, what was I thinking? Decent leather and stuff. Let's see if we can't pull more of these guys over to the Leviathans. Maybe the Le uh, Leviathans will do us a nice favor. Yeah, and sure enough, they're all going to aggro on the Leviathans. So, hey, either way, uh, we should probably end up with some decent amount of meat here. Or AI parts. Are you going to attack the baby? Oh, don't attack the puppy. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that. Look at these stats, you guys. 7,000 blood. Even the pup has a ton. An absolute ton of health. Maybe this is a fun area to settle down in. I, I've done it before. I love how it looks. It's nice. It's clean. Uh, it has, you know, some color to it. It's got a very flat plateau, especially, I think, over in this vicinity. So what are your what are your enemies here? Uh, well, you've got iron spiders. You've got beak things. And you've got giant leviathans that may or may not try to come eat your crops, much like the... Uh, the uh, old uh, ra river raptors. So, yeah, maybe maybe this is our end game. Maybe coming out here and successfully defending a base and hunting leviathans. Maybe that's our end game goal. If we if we reach that state, we're gonna say that we've been successful and we've you know we've essentially established a new community over here. Uh, since these guys took out most of the spiders let's see if we can't go back in here so wait, why don't you guys go on the other side and i'm gonna send beep back inside i really do like this area it's it's really nice it's uh i don't know it just look it just looks kind of cool oh damn it let's get back out of here before we get trapped we'll speed things up just a smidge a thousand leviathan around here Uh, how about you all don't shoot right now? <laughs> just, just in case you pissed off the giant, massive leviathan of death. Let's give that a shot, shall we? Let's, let's not kill ourselves today. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll clear this building out, and then I think I will probably call it at this episode. And we'll move on from there. Yeah, look at that. I mean, what a great challenge. I mean, our group is, uh, we're fairly confident. Obviously, we don't like the, uh, Holy Nation. We still kind of want to give them a bit of uh, harassment down the road, but maybe our group is just... What is the what is the epitome of being a successful independent group other than hunting your own leviathan, finding your own food source? So we need the falling stars, the falling suns, I think, the um, uh, that weapon. Now, in one of the comments, someone did mention where I can find that, so I'm going to go back to the comments to find it. Maybe I'm going to start looking for that particular type of weapon. Ooh, white plate jacket. It lowers your stealth crossbow dodge. Okay, so we're probably not going to wear this ourselves, but maybe we'll give this over to someone. Is it actually white in color? No, not really. It's the, it's the same, I think, for the as the rest of the armor is. So we'll, uh, we'll drop this off. Although Beep looked pretty good right there, right? You guys? I think it looked pretty good. Yeah, nothing too much in this particular little outpost. I think this is called a military outpost. What was this? Armory? Yeah. Because it's got a lot of weapons that are just lying around. Uh, some decent planks. Or a decent plank. Again, if I if I miss a box, my my apologies. It's uh, I'm not trying to get every single tiny little thing. I think for the most part, we're, we're decent on money these days. And... Um, And uh, things like that. I'm avoiding cats, by the way, because I've been seeing a lot of posts lately where there's an integer failure and it, it like it bugs you out. You pick something up and it's like it gives you negative, uh, you know, two to the millionth power credits, whatever the maximum value of an integer is in uh, technology. And it kind of screws your game up a little bit. So I don't want to mess with that too much. Anything up here? Oh, a spiderling. Oh, hello, friend. We're just coming to check your uh, your stockpile real quick. Oh, that was a horrible sound. 
Alright, we'll have him uh, leave the building now. And yeah. I think we're good. Did any of the Leviathans go anywhere near to coming down at all? Not really. I, I do believe the best strategy probably for the Leviathans is going to be to have a bigger archer squad and to have a, a hunting squad that can... I mean, I don't even know how much damage they do up front, like, per hit. Let's see what they're doing. They've got 22 attack. Well, they're only doing, you know, 70 damage, so it's not something that we would instantly die to, I think. It's just that they take forever to take down and kill. God, can we can we tame one and call it our own and call it George? George. Alright, this is a decent spot to take a pause. I'm going to stick our group right here along the water's edge. And make sure they're nice and safe and sneaking. Oh, why are you upset at us? What do we do to you? You big angry child. Alright, maybe they don't like people being nearby, just like the Garou. Garou. This could be a fun spot, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it would be a hell of a challenge for sure. I mean, there's some big things hanging out. Um, what fun. What Truly what fun. Let's Actually, real quick, before we leave, let's scout this particular plateau right here on the water. Um, nice and flat. Love how flat this is. Look at that. Completely flat. Massive open area. We could... We could come out here once we have the, the strongest walls available. And this could be our final spot. I mean, obviously, you're, you're far away from everything at this point. However, by this point, you really don't need too much else in terms of trading. You know, you're basically self-sufficient. You've... You've unlocked all the technology, and you're only here to, to come out and kill things. Gurgle. What a, what a name. What's the, uh, what's the goodies around here? We've got a green area, some arid, so we can pretty much grow anything we want. Good fertility, good water. Uh, very high quality stone right here. Good sources of iron. A copper's not right there, but I bet, I bet it's around. I, I would doubt that this entire area would be without copper. It's just that it's probably not within this particular view at the moment. Yeah, I think this might be a fun spot. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. And by the way, if you haven't seen the links down below, there is a link to join our community Discord. So please pop in and tell us what you think. There's channels just for Kenshi. There's a general channel that we all just yap around about. So come in and hang out. Come say hi. And, uh, of course, I've got uh, Twitter as well if you want to keep up with all the latest releases, although I do announce them on Discord as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Kenshi, only crashing uh, nunts today, right? We crashed uh, once last episode and managed to get through this whole episode without an explosion, so congratulations to us all. Thank you all for joining me for this episode of Kenshi. I do hope to see you again soon, but until then, please take care.